Up until now, the Croatian people had to go through the land that belonged to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Then the 2.4 kilometers long Peljasak Bridge was built. Any guesses who built it? Yes, it was China, but the bridge was majorly funded by the European Union itself. The opening of what some may call the bastion of Chinese and European cooperation was greeted with great joy and enthusiasm by the Croatian public. This bridge has helped the Croatians solve their decades-long problem of entering a foreign territory just so they can access a part of their own country. Celebrations had taken place all day long and both residents and ships took a stroll at the initial stretch of the bridge. People danced and sang all day long and various fireworks were set off in order to thank the Chinese for the great effort. For Croatia, it was extremely important to develop a cross-border bridge of this kind since they needed to go through the Bosnian and Herzegovina territory to reach the Pelcesek Peninsula. Croatia has been a rapidly developing country ever since its independence in 1991. However, the fact is that infrastructure here remains poorly developed. As Croatia joined the European Union in 2009, 85% of the funds required to build this bridge was covered by the EU itself. A total of 560 million US dollars were required for the development of this cross-border bridge and in the year 2018, the European Union invited global public tenders for building this unique cross-border bridge in which China won the bid at the lowest price and began constructing this unique cross-border bridge. Fun fact, this bridge is the biggest transportation infrastructural project since the establishment of peaceful diplomatic relations between China and Croatia. This cross-border bridge is a very complicated and unique undertaking and the Chinese encountered various hiccups during its development. The bridge construction was extremely complex as the Chinese developers had to operate in just water, which had many underlying hidden safety risks. Also, the bridge is located in a natural and extremely tricky environment. The seawater quality and the marine life protection requirement standards are also very high in the stretch of the sea and the Chinese had to make sure none of these were compromised with. Yet, all these are not even close to the biggest problem that the Chinese had to battle with. As the European Union was also involved in the construction of this bridge, the Chinese were forced to work according to the European Union standards and undertake the construction under their supervision. All of the building materials required for the construction along with the bridge structures and even bridge structure rails had to necessarily comply with the benchmarks that had been set up by the European Union. It was thought by many that the Europeans did not exactly trust the Chinese in the strength of their infrastructure, which is why they imposed such draconian standards and strict supervisions on the Chinese make it really tough for them to operate. Fortunately, the Europeans and the Chinese were able to adjust and adapt according to the situations and no delay was caused in the development of this cross-border bridge. The first design of the bridge had an original span of almost 1,864 feet, but later this design was modified to meet the actual needs of the hour. The final bridge was built with multi-span and it now has a total length of 7,887 feet and it is a cable-stayed cross-border bridge. The bridge is around 98 meters above the sea level and almost 222 meters above the sea bed. Both the ends of this cross-border bridge can be accessed through various access roads, which include two huge tunnels across the Peljasak Peninsula. One tunnel is of around 8,090 feet and the other tunnel runs across 1,640 feet. The cross-border bridge can also be accessed through two small-sized bridges, which are approximately 420 meters and 131 meters long, respectively. The country of Croatia officially opened the Chinese-built cross-border Peljasak Bridge on the 27th of July 2022, which connects the heart of Croatia with the Peljasak Peninsula, which is very much a part of the Croatian territory, but access to it was extremely tough before the building of this bridge. Earlier, Croatian citizens had to go through Bosnian and Herzegovina territory so that they could access the Peljasak Peninsula, which caused them extreme distress as they had to go through intense delays and security checks. Many also see this bridge as a symbol of growing diplomatic relations and cooperation between China and European countries, which could prove fruitful for the entire community in the near future. What do you think about this bridge and this corporation? Comment below and let us know your views.